Hey, this is John Krause with California Corks. Welcome to Zip Sips. Well, this time I want to introduce you to a wine that comes from Indian Peak Vineyards. Now, I have a friend that uh, lives near and works up at Lassen Park. And with the fires that were going on and some of the park being damaged, I, I got to thinking about the winemaker, winemakers over in uh, Matton, California. And I had, had some family in my Mom and dad used to live in a little town called Shingletown, California, a little mountain community on the way up to Lassen Park. In fact, uh, my wife and I stayed at a B&B &B for our anniversary <coughs> one year and uh, only had to pull out because of an earlier fire a few years back uh, that uh, uh, we sat outside of our room and could see the glow over the mountainside and smell all the smoke. Uh, well, we. We pulled out and went back to my mom's house and turned on the radio, see what was going on, making sure the fire didn't, you know, jump the highway and we'd have to evacuate. Well, we didn't have to, but uh, the wildfire did do a lot of damage and it got me thinking about it. Uh, Fred was among some of the wine growers that had to deal with smoke taint that year with his Merlot. And uh, I hope that uh, they and other wineries fared better this time around, uh, I think. I'll uh, shoot, sh shoot off a message or an email to him shortly after I finish this video. Uh, again, this is a, we're doing a wine tasting on a Bordeaux style blend. This is a 2014 Take 5. Now, uh, it's primarily 57% Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, there's 25% Merlot, 9% Malbec, and 4% Cabernet Franc. Uh, Donna and uh, Fred Boots only produced 397 cases of this particular wine, but uh, I still had a, one of them lying down in my wine cooler, so I thought I'd pull it out and uh, take a look at it and give it a taste too. Now, uh, on, a, on a happier note, other than the fires that are going on all over California, um, this is a very typical of a, of, of a, a Bordeaux blend. It reminds us somewhat of uh, those that you might get from France. It's got some earthy notes to it, a little bit of dark fruit going on. Uh, it's not overboard in one way. It's pretty well balanced. Uh, it's, it's got enough backbone that it's gonna, you're gonna enjoy it with uh, uh, meat dishes, things that come off the grill. And it's just a really nice blend. It's a delightful Bordeaux style wine. Uh, tell you a little bit more about this uh, mountain gym. Uh, Indian Peak Vineyards is located, located in Matton, California. Uh, Indian Peak Wineries consists of about seven acres on their uh, rolling hill, their estate there. The wine grapes include Cabernet Sauvignon, Malbec, Merlot, Cab Franc, Petit Verdot, Pete Noir, Petit Noir, uh, Pinot Noir, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes here, Pinot Noir and Saffron Blanc. Uh, Indian Peak has really become popular with the local Redding wine lovers, uh, Red Bluff, Paradise, uh, Chico, that area. Uh, wine tasters uh, uh, from that area often visit it uh, because it's a little bit off the beaten path. But I enjoyed it because it was just down the hill, so to speak, when I would go up and visit my parents before my mom moved into Reading. It was easy to go on over there. And uh, it, they've often hosted visitors from Sacramento to Truckee and much of Northern California and places in between. So if you ever plan on spending some time in Red Bluff or in the Reading area, look for a friendly, looking for a friendly place to learn how to do a little bit of wine tasting, uh, a little bit about winemaking process, Think of Indian Peak. It's uh, definitely a great little place and you'll get plenty of attention from the owners. Uh, you know, Donna and uh, Fred Boots, they would love to have you there and they do some premium wines and you'll just have a wonderful time. Uh, so away from the hustle and bustle of the city are the main uh, wine trails that you might go on. But there's a number of other wineries up there too. So there's some good Shiraz, Shiraz that come out of that area as well. So again, this is John Kraus. This was uh, Take 5, 2014, from Indian Peak Vineyards in Matton, California. And this is John Kraus with California Corks. Good sipping.